A soundbar with Dolby Atmos that you can afford? Let's see what's in the box. Dave Taylor here and I'm looking at this. Actually, we're going to unbox this. This is the Vizio 36-inch 5.1.4 home theater that goes by SB36514 G6. Now, let's decode that real quick. SB soundbar 36, 36 inches. 514 is 5.1.4, which describes the speaker configuration G6. So, really G6. We'll just call it the G6. <laughs> so what's 514, right? So you see all these different numbers on home theater sound systems. Here's the deal. A 514 means that there are five speakers near or at ear level, one speaker dedicated for bass, that's obviously the subwoofer, and this is the new thing, four overhead channels of audio. So that's the big thing. Dolby Atmos doesn't just give you this sort of planar sound. It actually is going to be bouncing sound up and hopefully off your ceiling so that you get a much more immersive audio experience. Now, a lot of streaming services are supporting this, including the new Disney Plus. And if you're using 4K Blu-ray or anything like that, a lot of them already have Dolby Atmos encoded. So it's just a lot more audio data. Now, if you don't have something like that, if you have a 5.1 as a home theater without any of the fancy overhead sound, then you probably aren't missing a lot. But of course, just like in the movie theater, the more immersive, the more fun it is. So let's open this thing up and I'll talk about it a little more as we go. Now on here, it says, do not open this side. So I'm going to take them at their word and we're going to open it the other way. So I actually like this sort of overgrown hockey sticks um, packaging that they have. A lot of the sound bars come in these just monster boxes. So I have my opening tool and I'm going to start by just assuming that everywhere there's tape, we need to cut it. So let's see. We'll cut and see what's inside. I, obviously, there's going to be a lot of speakers and a lot of wires and a remote control. And it, let's see, how many more, how much more tape do we have? We have this and this and over here, there's some more tape and hmm, that might be it. Let's open this thing up. Now, it supports Dolby Atmos. Let's see, I might have cut the tape, but I have not correctly opened the box yet. So it supports Dolby Atmos, DTS Studio Sound, uh, DTS Virtual X, and Dolby Volume. So whatever you're going to throw at this thing in terms of the audio from a video, it's going to be able to handle, which is great because you really want to have all of that, I call that future proofing, right? Because who knows what's going to be big in 12 months or 24 months. So, let's see, that opens. This all looks like it's opening. And cue the heavenly choir. It's open. Now, the big thing about this is that the rear speakers have upward facing speakers in addition. So, the basic configuration with how Vizio does this is that there's a sound bar that you put under your TV. And then there's a wireless connection between the soundbar and the subwoofer. And then there were rear satellite speakers that are wired into the subwoofer. So the subwoofer contains all of that audio receiving technology and it ports different sound in different directions. Okay, well, don't need that. So that's out of here. Oh, here's our little rear satellite speakers. We can open up these and see what they look like. Here's one. It looks a whole heck of a lot like the current generation of Vizio speaker that I have, but I can feel on the top there is some speakers going on there. It doesn't, it's not designed that you can pop off the grill, but speaker number one, rear speaker number two, and then let's see, instructions. It says, whatever you do, do not record an unboxing video. Just kidding, it doesn't say that. <laughs> so we'll put the instructions aside. Usually I would read those, but we're just looking to see what's inside here. And here's our subwoofer. And I'm guessing it's going to look a lot like their previous generation. So Vizio doesn't put a ton of effort into design, I have to say. But it all is entirely functional. And here's the subwoofer. So you can see there's not a lot that you're going to notice out of this um, on the back. 
There are some connections. It's a very similar design to the current generation Vizio soundbar I have, but that's okay, right? And then here's the soundbar, the front soundbar itself. This is a 36 inch unit, which should work great with really almost any size television, unless it's your TV is smaller than that. But if you have a TV smaller than that, you're probably not interested in things like Dolby Atmos. So let's see goes like this. Uh, one thing I can see, actually, you know, I think it goes like this. And then you have actually the controls, you actually can see where the embedded buttons are. That's a nice improvement. On previous generations, you really were sort of on your own trying to figure out where things were. I like it to be a little more overt, but it's still obviously quite subtle. On the back, you have connectivity options and they have stickers to make sure that you read things before you proceed, but you know what? We're not going to do that. <laughs> I'll read them later. So let's see what we have. On this side, we have power and we have optical and we have an AUX plug. And then on this side, this is a little more fun. We have HDMI in, HDMI out, and that HDMI is ARC or audio return channel, which is the kind of stuff that makes it easier for you to use one remote control with your soundbar and your TV. HDMI ARC is important. And then you have Ethernet and USB. Now, what you can't see is that it also supports Wi-Fi and also supports Bluetooth. And because of that, it also has Chromecast. So that means you can use this with your Google Assistant. But more importantly, you can push content to it super easily. So if you want to just listen to music with this, Chromecast makes that super easy. Great. In total, we have 10 different speakers pointing in different directions. So that's pretty nice. Now we also have the only thing left to open up is the accessory box that says open other side, but got to cut the tape before we can do that. Right? So I will cut the tape and now I'll flip it over. Let's move the sound bar. I will flip it over and you can see Inside is a whole lot of wires. This is going to be a whole lot of setup and configuration. Notably, here's the remote control, and this looks just like the previous generation with a tiny little LCD screen. The good news is they have an app, so you can do all of this through their app instead, and probably is a lot easier. Um, that's Android or iPhone. And this one's going to be interesting because there's some additional setup and configuration, apparently, because of you need to tune the Atmos and the whole sound system for the room you're going to be in. Now, what's going to make this particularly interesting is I have a sloped ceiling. I don't have a flat ceiling. So we'll see how that works with the reflective sound from the top channels. So there we go. There's the unboxing. There's a lot of cables. It's a really nice looking unit. Not a huge difference from the standard stylistic design language of Vizio in general, but that's cool. So. Um, I've told you all the basic specs. I'm going to tell you the price in a second, but number one, I'm going to install it and I'm going to give you a review and that's probably going to be a week or two down the road because this is complicated, right? <laughs> and number two, I'm going to ask for you to subscribe to my channel so you can get more unboxings and lots of reviews. I'm super candid. So you definitely want to just click and keep up and let's stay together. Cool. Now, this whole setup, as I said, is the Vizio 36 inch 5.1.4 home theater known as the SB36514 G6, and it is $699.99 at Vizio.com, which might sound like a lot, but for Dolby Atmos, that's a killer good price. So, question is, is it going to be good? And for that, you'll have to come back, which means I'll catch you in my next video.